Hi guys, so today I want to talk about IBM Connection searching and uh, give you some tips on how to search the system for relevant information. Because a lot of people complain that they have trouble finding information in IBM Connections. But before I do, I want to talk about why it is so hard for you to find information. And a big reason for that is that people sometimes don't enter the information with descriptive titles and tags. Now, what do I mean with that? Well, if I store a project plan in my project community, then that project plan has a relevant context, meaning that everybody in this community knows that this project plan is about this project. But as soon as I do a global search for project plan, I might end up getting dozens of project plans like that. And because now the document is outside of its context, it's quite hard to identify which project plan is for which project. So always use things like the customer name, the project name, the project type or what it is about in your titles as well. Just make them a little bit more descriptive so other people can more easily identify when they're doing a search if this is the document that they're looking for. It's also handy to include tags because tags can definitely help as well. For instance, tags are visible in your search results, but they are also filterable. So you can actually filter on the tags to only get the information back from the system that include that tag. That's a little bit about why it is important or what your responsibility is in making information findable. Now let's go into some of the search options themselves. The first thing you need to know about searching in IBM Connections is that it is context sensitive, meaning that depending on where I am in the system, the system context for the search will be different. For instance, if I'm on the home page, the search context by default is all content, but I can change that to, for instance, only search for specific types of information. If I go into a forum, you will see that the search context is actually changed to forums. And if I go to a community, you will see that the search context is changed to the community and can be changed to, for instance, only include search results from my communities. With Connections 5.5, the search now has this fantastic type ahead, meaning that while I'm typing in, you can see that the search results are already being displayed. Now this list isn't exhaustive, this is only showing me three options, but when I click on enter, it will literally show me all the results from the system. And in this case, as you can see, that's a bit more than just the three results that I was getting initially. So be aware that that type ahead is not exhaustive, it's just an indication of most likely results. Once in my search results list, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, the icon already indicates what it is. So in this case, it's a file of the type document. Um, these are forum posts, uh, wiki pages, activities, but you can also see that here. So in this case, I can see that this file is contained within a community and I can see that this is a forum post within a community as well. I can filter content on the left hand side by indicating what type of content I want. So for instance, I only want to see uh, files, I only want to see forms, then I can filter it back on that. And depending on the filter that I use, you can also get additional filter options here in the top. So if I'm in forms, I have different options than for instance, if I go into communities. Other options are to filter based on tags. And again, that's why you need to enter tags as well and the people involved with the content as well as the period when it was last edited or created. These just give you ways of filtering the information already, but there's different ways. One of the things you can also do is, for instance, be more descriptive in your search terms. Let's say that I am looking for information about consulting, then I can enter consulting, but what if I was looking for consulting and somebody used the word consultancy instead of consultant? Well, you can use the operators and one of them is the OR operator. And be aware, you have to write it in capitals to be effective. So use capitals there and say consultancy. Now it will look for any document containing either consulting or consultancy. But what if I had actually used the word consultant? Now, instead of doing it this way, I could have quite easily also have done the following thing, which is to actually use a wildcard symbol because all of these words start with consult. So if I use the wildcard symbol, it will literally take anything that starts with consult, including, for instance, plural forms of words like consultants instead of consultant. 
Now again, filter on all content if you want to make sure that you get everything. And now I get 34 hits, quite a lot. So add more keywords if you want to search for specific information. And voila, now I only get one document or use other ways of searching. Um, a question that I quite often get is actually, how do I search for files of a specific type? Let's say I'm looking for a presentation that I once created. Now, how can I do that? Because, hey, I don't see the extensions here, and so I can't really filter on extension. That's true, you can't, because IBM Connections information isn't always contained within a file. Sometimes it's contained within a wiki post or a forum or an activity, as you can see here. So in those cases, there aren't any extensions necessarily. But if you do know that you're specifically to looking for a file, then you can simply search for that extension as well. And for instance, I can search for PPT and now I get only the presentation. Again, if you aren't sure about PPT or PPTX, then use the wildcard to get more. And perhaps in this case, I even uh, stored it as a PDF, that's possible, then use the or symbol to also do that. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one, but in this case, because I want to get anything that has consult and either PPT or PP PDF, I will include that second statement in brackets, just to make sure that it's read correctly by the system. And as you can see, I now had these hits. Great. Now, how do you exclude certain results? Well, let's say that I want to get everything back that has consulting, uh, PPT or PDF, but that I want to exclude anything having to do with Acme because that's a customer and that's not relevant for my search, then what I can actually do is use the minus operator to say exclude anything that has Acme in it. And now I just get the results that have anything starting with consult are either PPT, PPTX or PDF and do not include the word Acme either in title, tag, or in the content itself. These are just a few tips and tricks that can help you find information in IBM Connections. Be aware of your context of where you're searching, use relevant filters and keywords, and use the operators if necessary to get to the results that you need. Good luck, and I hope that you find what you're looking for.